I'm stuck in bed, now you're stuck in here with me. So here's what I think is happening in WandaVision. Right, of course, we've got Wanda. We know her, she's like the main character, and we have Vision. But Vision is dead. But Wanda has magical powers, so he clearly brings Vision back to life. Or if not back to life, at least some sort of projection of him. And right now, she's got a town under her control. It's a town that's under her control, or it's like an alternate reality, maybe? That the people on the outside can see into. So maybe in this alternate reality, Vision didn't die. He's alive and happy with Wanda. But scientists on the outside are probably trying to figure out what this alternate reality is doing here. Because I would imagine that it would pop out of nowhere. And that's where, like, Darcy comes in. Because she's a scientist. But then there's also Quicksilver. Or sorry, Boner. Right, so we have the brothers fit somewhere in here. And then Wanda and Vision have kids? So there's like two boys, a villain, obviously, right? There's Agnes. Or was it Agatha? Because there's the theme song for Agatha all along. Okay, so here's what I think is happening. Wanda is obviously grieving the death of Vision. So Wanda brings Vision back to life, or a copy of Vision, and then she tries and lives out her normal happy life in this little town that she's enslaved that is happening in an alternate reality where Vision never died. So then, then they're just trying to act like normal people, and that's where the sitcom comes in, because this alternate reality is a sitcom university universe where everything is just like a sitcom and that's completely normal for everyone there so the people on the outside darcy with the science and there's monica who's captain marvel uh, they're trying to save the townspeople. Wanda doesn't realize. Maybe she doesn't know that she's enslaved people. See, so that's the thing I don't know because I haven't seen it. Is Wanda aware of the of that she is brainwashing and enslaving people, or is this just? her state of mind going wild because she hasn't, like, properly dealt with her grief. And I think the answer to that will tell us a lot about how it works out with 
Darcy and Monica trying to save people. Because either Agatha is taking advantage of Wanda's grief or is hiding the fact that Wanda has enslaved the town from everybody else so that this whole scenario can keep going. Now, I don't know why Agatha is doing that. My theory is that she's, like, feeding on the grief somehow. Or she's feeding off of Wanda's magic. Like, she's just, like, a little creature that feeds off of magic. And Wanda is a tasty snack. In more ways than one, she is a tasty snack. Vision would agree. So, but is Vision, like, complicit? Does he know that he's dead? Or has his memories been completely wiped? Or is this an alternate universe where Vision just never died? But, like, if he's dead, he's gonna probably figure out that he's dead. Then he's gonna confront Wanda. And I think that's gonna cause more problems. Maybe more things go haywire. Especially with Quicksilver coming in when Quicksilver is dead. But I don't think this Quicksilver is Quicksilver because I saw the meme with Ralph Boner. So I think this is just a person that has been kind of absorbed into Wanda's fairy tale because if like if she's gonna be our main hero then we can't have her enslaving a town because then how could we root for her so what ha must be happening is that it's just her mind powers going out of control and like absorbing everybody into this perfect little family that she wants that she can have. But there has to be a limit to her powers, because otherwise Darcy and Monica and whoever is on the science team trying to figure this out, they wouldn't be able to be living free from Wanda. So maybe there's like a limit to how far the town goes. Like, as long as you're outside of this box, then Wanda doesn't control you. But when you come in, then you automatically, like, get assigned a role in a sitcom. Like, people might just randomly walk in and be like, Oh, now you're the long-suffering mother, or now you're the father, or the neighbor, or you're the love interest. Or whatever role needs to be filled. Like the boss. And that's where I think the sitcoms come in. And I know the first one's in black and white. And is a I Love Lucy spinoff sort of thing. Parody. That's the word. It's a parody. So... Trying to fit Wanda and Vision into an I Love Lucy parody. Well, Vision would probably have a job because they'd be living the whole 1940s, 1950s, whenever I Love Lucy takes place lifestyle. So Wanda would be the stay-at-home uh, wife and Vision would be the one that's off working and there'd probably be like a lot of drama from Vision trying to hide the fact that he's a robot and Wanda hiding her powers and then but I'm not sure what the other sitcoms are I know I don't really know much about sitcoms so I'm just kind of guessing 
But I know one is Modern Family. And somehow the two kids fit in it. But, like, Vision's a robot. So, how do the kids happen? Which, they must be another projection of Wanda's mind. And there's a rabbit somewhere in here. Where does the rabbit fit in? Is the rabbit the boy's pet? Maybe, yeah, maybe the boys have a rabbit as a pet. Oh, and it happens around Halloween. It's a Halloween special. So maybe it really isn't Quicksilver and it's just the guy dressed up as Quicksilver because it's a Halloween special. But like, okay, so Agatha's the big bad. Monica, hmm, Monica probably would get her powers somehow, right? Because she's Captain Marvel. Monica might get her powers through traveling, like, in between the two universes and the towns something magical might happen to her or yeah that that seems like the most likely thing and then she gets her light powers and then she's able to keep her memory so she goes and she tells vision that he's dead right and maybe maybe she captures vision somehow and brings him out of the universe to have a chat with our dream team over here who are trying to solve this problem and then vision comes back and is like wanda i'm dead or something and then that makes wanda break out of this delusion that she's created and that means agatha has to confront wanda about everything and try and force her back into the delusion so she can keep like feeding off of her magic powers but then there's a huge obviously it's marvel so there's going to be like a huge fight full of set pieces and whatnot and then it'll end and it'll be very sad because well wanda will realize vision's gone she doesn't have her kids there's no quicksilver and then she's just by herself and there's no town where she can keep hiding her self in and denying her grief and she has to accept it and move on and try and make a life by herself so that's what I think is going to happen in WandaVision. Let me know if I was anywhere close. I don't think I was. Because the more I see of these memes, the more confused I get. Like, this show is very weird. And that's the kind of thing I'd be into. But I'm hesitant to watch WandaVision because of the way women who deal with trauma tend to get treated in the media they tend to get villainized um and marvel's done a bad job with that especially in endgame with the way nebula and gamora were handled i just don't trust the people who wrote black widow and nebula and Gamora and everything with Pepper Potts and just oh so many so many things I just do not trust them handling Wanda is a main character who's dealing with trauma and having her enslave an entire town and hold on let me move this and Monica, who's a black woman, when there's so few in 
the Marvel Universe. Like, I don't trust the people who just threw a bunch of women together for one single scene as a, like, yay feminist moment in Endgame to be able to handle a story about grief and trauma with any level of tact. I just don't. So that's why I haven't seen it. <sighs> but this is what I think will happen. Let me know how close I was. Alright. I was stuck in bed. You were stuck here with me. Thank you for coming to my lecture. You may now go and live your lives. Be cute. Be gay. Do crime. Move your arm! I want to see the kitten, not you. Fair enough. Okay, I feel like you're actually trying to eat my hand, Cryptid, and I'm kind of uh, offended. <laughs>